I have chicks set to arrive in the next few days, so I wanted to show you my brooder and how I set up everything to get ready for the chicks to arrive. So what I have here for my brooder is simply a 27 gallon tote from Lowe's. I like this size for when they first come because it's small and you can keep it really warm. Um, and when they get a little older, I bought the biggest size tote from Lowe's. It's really big. I don't. It's like really big. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but that'll take them all the way through till they're ready to be outside with the other hens. So let me show you how I modified this container. Uh, first of all, just in the bottom there, I just have pine shavings about one, a little over one inch thick, maybe two inches, and I drilled a hole to accommodate this dowel, just the same size hole on either side of the container, because chicks do roost when they're really little, so I like to have that in there for them. And it's so large because it fits the larger container. Um, and let me show you the lid over here. I cut out the whole center of the lid with a jigsaw, I think, and then I just drilled in uh, different places here you can see and to accommodate zip ties and I zip tied chicken wire to it and that way the chicks can't jump out and they can roost on that little pole and then also it would kind of help from anything else being able to get into the chicks. Like I said when you bring your chicks home it has to be really warm. We're going for 95 degrees for the first week so you need a heat lamp. So my brooder is in my garage. I do not recommend your brooder in the house. I don't have a barn and I don't have enough room in the hen house so if you're like me you want to do it in a shed or a garage because chicks are really messy they're noisy and you wouldn't want a disaster if you have any dogs or cats that would be terrible if they got to your little chicky babies so my heat lamp is just strung over a rafter in the garage and I have a thermometer there just for now so I can gauge how hot it is when the chicks come you'll you'll know, you know, as temperature fluctuates out here. If they're huddled together, you want to lower that lamp, make it a little warmer because they're too cold. And if they're pressed against the sides and avoiding where the, the heat lamp spot is, you'll want to raise it and make it a little cooler in there. I have my heat lamp fitted with, uh, these are the ones that, from the, you know, that they'll have at the feed store. It's a red heat lamp and a cage to protect if it fell so that your wood shavings wouldn't catch on fire. I will have the lid on mine so that'll be a protection too. Uh, but they do get really hot. I have the red bulb and that's supposed to be better for chicks. Uh, I think if they peck one another, the red doesn't let the blood show up as much. I've never had chicks peck one another, thankfully. Um, also, over here I have a chick feeder base. And that's fitted with just a regular glass quart size mason jar. And I'll show you the feed that I'm going to use. It's this Purina Start and Grow medicated feed. It's a lot cheaper, even if you think you won't use this to get uh, the 25 pound or the larger size. It's even cheaper than like two smaller bags, which I know I would definitely go through. I did decide to go with the medicated. Uh, apparently it will prevent against diseases that your chicks can get from your older birds something that doesn't affect the older birds but can cause some problems in the chicks if you are going for organic chicken meat or organic eggs you cannot use this now if I were going to be raising meat birds and that weren't going to be with the older chicks I wouldn't use the medicated but since these birds are going to be for eggs and they're going to be with the older chicks I definitely would go for medicated I would rather have no you know chick loss and my eggs not be you know organic I'm not certified organic anyway but I mean I feel that by the time that they start laying you know there would be no problem but well, the medication would be all be out of their system now if you are only feeding them these chick crumbles then you don't need this but it, I like to give them some greens and also sometimes some crumbled up eggs and this chick grit you'll want to sprinkle in the feed kind of like if you're seasoning food with salt so you don't want to give them a whole cup of it like you might do with the older chickens and then last I just have the chicken water up on top of a brick and the brick is for stability and chickens also make their water very dirty so just raising it a little bit will help them from getting 
shavings and chicken poop in it and you'll want to change the water at least two times a day I would say even more often if you can and then lastly I just have two chairs set up so that I can watch the chicks and when guests come over there's just a place for us to sit and watch the little chicky babies so if you have any questions please leave them below and thanks so much for watching